we catch a yellow or red flag before one lap is complete, DeWeese would be allowed to join the field as a lead lap car. Caution lights out. Brock Zierfoss now with Zane DeVault to his outside. Hunter Schurenberg and Donnie Schatz in row two. We go green on the Microlight. Last chance showdown at the dirt track at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Battle for the lead. Oh, car into the wall and upside down. It is Zane DeVault in car number 6Z. Red flag conditions on the speedway. Zane DeVault up over the cushion into the wall and tumbling side over side. Take a look at the Dirt Vision replay. Just up over the cushion and into the wall, and then the left side dug in and sent the car tumbling side over side. Very fortunate for Zane DeVault that everybody else was able to take evasive action, no further contact. This may be a bit of a break for Lance DeWeese, who Shearer Motorsports number 12 stayed in the Federated Car Care work zone. The crew continues to work on that machine, but an opportunity for DeWeese to join the field for the start of this Microlite Last Chance showdown, though he will have to do so from the rear of the field instead of his originally scheduled outside front row starting spot. We'll send it downstairs to Chase Rodman. Yeah, quite a bit of damage here to this six car for Zane DeVault front and rear end, both pretty tweaked here, but nothing they should be able to get fixed for tomorrow. Zane DeVault doing a great job here up until this point. You don't start on the front row of the last chance showdown for no reason. He was decent in qualifying yesterday. Had a good run in the heat race earlier as well, but uh, yeah, tough way to end this LCS for him. But man, he's been uh, he's been all over the place this year. John has been running with USCS here the last couple of weeks. Had a second place run earlier this week at Cherokee with some pretty good feet or you know, cars in that field. Anthony Macker is there, Tyler Courtney, Hunter Schoenberg, and Zane DeVault able to come home second there but hate to see his night come to an end like that. Yeah, absolutely. That second place finish on Tuesday night at Cherokee equaled his best finish in 14 410 sprint car starts this season. The other one coming at the Sharon Speedway. He was a five-time winner in 360 action. And again, those victories coming all over the eastern portion of the United States. Understand now perhaps an issue on the 5D of Jacob Dykstra, the right rear tire down on that car. So we'll keep you posted on that situation as we remain under red flag conditions. Shouldn't be much longer. And there's a look at the Gaston's Auto Sales number 5D. Jacob Dykstra, second generation sprint car driver. Four appearances this season with the World of Outlaws NOS Energy Drink Sprint Car Series. Best finish, a 10th place run at Volusia Speedway Park. That 10th place finish with the World of Outlaws equaled his best in 11 410 sprint car starts in 2023. Dykstra already getting a career best here at the dirt track at Charlotte Motor Speedway this evening. Did not make it out of a C-Main in three attempts during last year's World Finals. So Jacob Dykstra headed to the Federated Car Care Work Zone. The number 12 of Lance DeWeese still in the Federated Car Care work zone. We understand work continuing there, but they have not gotten that car prepared to rejoin the field. Safety crew continuing to clean things up on the top of the racetrack between turns one and two before we refire engines. And now we understand Lance DeWeese is set to rejoin the field. The number 12 now pushing toward the racing surface.
And again, uh, not much urgency from the crew on the 5D of Jacob Dykstra in the Federated Car Care Work Zone. Looks like the work just about complete on the top side of the racetrack in turns one and two. So they continue to look at the right rear corner of that number 5D. A little more repair work to do on the fence on the outside of turns one and two. The safety vehicles now on the outside portion of the racetrack. We appreciate everyone's patience while we make sure the facility is safe to continue green flag racing in this Microlight Last Chance showdown. Chase Randall, Greg Wilson rounding out the top 10 starters in this one. Again, 12 laps with the top four finishers qualifying for tonight's feature starting in positions 21 through 24. We go back to green. Donnie shots low in one and two, third to the lead as they exit the second corner. Hunter Schurenberg up the banking in front of Brock Zierfoss, down low, side Lynch into a transfer spot. Lynch nearly gets into Hunter Schurenberg, down low in one and two. Zierfoss coming after Schurenberg to the inside out of the second corner. Hunter Schurenberg running in that third spot. Now looks back to the inside of the speedway. Can't risk second from Brock Zierfoss. And now Robbie Price coming after Cy Lynch for the final transfer spot. Jacob Allen right there as well. Lynch on the top has fourth. Robbie Price in fifth. Now Cy Lynch looking for more to the inside of Hunter Schurenberg in turns three and four. Schurenberg around the outside maintains the spot. Jacob Allen gets by Robbie Price. Price now to the inside of the shark racing 1A to reclaim fifth. Allen back to his inside of the midpoint of the back straightaway. Jacob Allen back up to fifth. Still one spot shy of a transfer. Four laps down, eight to go in the micro light. Last chance showdown. It is all Donnie Shots out in front of the field. Approaching the halfway point. Shots with a 2.6 second lead over second place Brock Zierfoss. Jacob Allen now getting closer to Cy Lynch for the final transfer position. Lynch down low, Jacob Allen using momentum from the top of the racetrack. Both drivers now enter in the middle of turn one. Cy Lynch in the final transfer spot. A quick glimpse of Parker Price Miller who's taking the Indy Race Part 71 into the infield. Lynch getting closer to Hunter Schurenberg, and now Jacob Allen, a three-car battle for two transfer spots. Allen to the inside of Lynch. Move Jacob Allen into the transfer spot in the 1A. Cy Lynch back to his inside, entering turn three. Eight laps complete for your race leader. Four to go. Good battle for the transfer spot. Jacob Allen and Cy Lynch right in front of them. Hunter Schurenberg. Lynch keeping pace with Jacob Allen, but it was Allen scored in fourth as they crossed the line the last time. Now Allen to the inside of Schurenberg. Three wide out of turn four. Lynch back to the inside of Allen, trying to make the move for the transfer spot. Hunter Schurenberg feeling the pressure from the 1A and the 42. Now Lynch tries to go two for one, and he'll make the move into turn three. Cy Lynch by Jacob Allen, by Hunter Schurenberg to third. And now Schurenberg challenged for the transfer spot by Jacob Allen, who makes the move down low, entering turn one. Jacob Allen back into the transfer spot in car number 1A. White flag set to wave for your race leader, Donnie Schultz. Jacob Allen coming after 3Z Brock Zierfoss. Cy Lynch has now made the move for second. Allen to the inside looking for third. 
checkered flag in the air at the dirt track at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Donnie Schatz wins the Michael Light Last Chance Showdown. Second will be Cy Lynch. Third, Jacob Allen. And fourth, Brock Zierfoss.